Glomerular filtration rate can be regulated by adjusting both the blood flow in and out of the glomerular capillaries and the surface area of the glomerular capillaries. There are three main ways to make these adjustments. Renal autoregulation, nervous regulation, and hormonal regulation. Renal autoregulation occurs when the kidneys themselves regulate blood flow. There are two renal autoregulatory mechanisms that maintain a normal glomerular filtration rate over a wide range of systemic blood pressures. First, there is the myogenic mechanism. As systemic blood pressure goes up, the smooth muscle cells in the afferent arterioles stretch. The smooth muscle fibers of the afferent arterioles respond to stretching by contracting, thereby reducing blood flow to the glomerular capillaries. Glomerular filtration rate decreases. As systemic blood pressure goes down, the smooth muscle cells in the afferent arterioles relax. The relaxation of the smooth muscle cells in the afferent arterioles increases blood flow to the glomerular capillaries. Glomerular filtration rate increases. The second mechanism is tubuloglomerular feedback. When blood pressure is above normal, rapid filtrate flow reduces ion retention, so filtrate in the tubule has more sodium ions, chlorine ions, and water. It is believed that when macula densa cells detect higher water and ion levels in the distal convoluted tubule, the release of the vasoconstricting chemicals from the juxtaglomerular cells is promoted. These chemicals cause vasoconstriction of the afferent arteriole, thereby reducing blood flow to the glomerular capillaries. Glomerular filtration rate decreases. When blood pressure is below normal, slow filtrate flow increases ion retention, so filtrate in the distal convoluted tubule has less sodium ions, chlorine ions, and water. Macula densa cells detect lower water and ion levels in the tubule and inhibit the release of vasoconstricting chemicals from the juxtaglomerular cells. The afferent arteriole vasodilates, increasing blood flow to the glomerular capillaries. Glomerular filtration rate increases. At rest, sympathetic stimulation is weak and renal autoregulation is the dominant mechanism for controlling glomerular filtration rate. Sympathetic stimulation is most important during extreme rises or falls in blood pressure. In the case of an extreme drop in blood pressure, as occurs during hemorrhage, sympathetic output increases, having two effects. First, the afferent arterioles vasoconstrict. Then, the juxtaglomerular cells secrete renin, a chemical that promotes formation of angiotensin II, a potent vasoconstrictor. The net result of increased sympathetic stimulation is a reduction of blood flow to the glomerular capillaries, and thus a decrease of glomerular filtration rate. This mechanism eventually reduces urine output, conserving water. If both blood volume and pressure drop, the walls of the renal arterioles collapse. This causes the juxtaglomerular cells to produce renin. Renin promotes the formation of angiotensin II. Increased angiotensin II promotes vasoconstriction of afferent arterioles, reducing blood flow to the glomerular capillaries. Glomerular filtration rate decreases. If there is a sudden, large increase in blood pressure, the atria of the heart are stretched. Atrial natriuretic peptide is released into the bloodstream. Atrial natriuretic peptide causes the mesangeal cells of the glomerulus to relax, increasing the surface area of the capillaries. An increased filtering area